something that's always really amazed me is the power of words and of music to express an emotion or to tell a story. And I got to thinking, what would happen if you took three completely different songs by three completely different writers and you put them together so that they would tell the story of a marriage? Well, that's what we've done. Here are three completely different songs by three completely different writers that put together tell the story of two people at three different stages in their relationship. Okay? Let's start with the first song. And with their first year. You and I will travel far together. We'll pursue our little star together. We'll be happy as we are together. We may never get to heaven, but it's heaven at least to try. We'll find a dream to build upon together Till the time we have is gone together Growing older, growing wiser Making memories that light the sky That only time can make that only love can make That only we can make You, you and I Ten years married, who would have ever thought? Am I overjoyed? Am I overwhelmed? No, I'm just a little overwrought. I mean, you know, it's, it's cute, the way you never get my birthday right. And it's sweet, the way it's sorry, honey. Not tonight. Well, my dear, it's clear the honeymoon is over. Someone drew the noose a little tight. It's nice the way you can't recall the children's names. I mean, why is James called Donald? Why is Donald James, huh? Oh, my dear, it's clear the honeymoon is over. What became of all the fun and games? Here's a winner, don't wait dinner. The other, oh, I never did like concerts. Take your mother, rate the other women that you hide so well. Calling you at home as if I couldn't tell. Oh, come on, look, my dear, it's clear the honeymoon is over, and I might as well leave you stranded, make my exit, slam the door shut, pull the curtain back up, boom out, tell you, honey. It's a beautiful evening, and I'm bursting with pride. It's been 20 long years since you've made me your bride. 
I've arranged all the flowers. I've prepared the hors d'oeuvres. I'm a bundle of joy. You're a bundle of nerves. I, I know you bought seats for a concert, fifty dollars a throw, but the cleaner is late, and you're ready to blow. I understand you want your old tuxedo, and I helplessly shrug, and you stab at my quiche, and then it hits the rug. And you're screaming, "Where is he? Hell, he was due here at five. It's a quarter to eight. Oh, will he ever arrive?" And you're shredding the napkins, just embossed with our names, that was sent us by Donald, or it might have been James. So I pour a martini, but you aren't alert, for there's half in your mouth, and there's half on my skirt. I say, look, darling, why don't you just sit down and watch the ball game? But the Yanks make you curse, and I've got a headache that's quickly getting worse. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Oh, your tuxedo's delivered, but you're still in distress. It was well after nine. When you started to dress, I came over to help you, but it wasn't my day. As I gave it a yank, your zipper stuck halfway, and it wasn't your fault. But the vest—it just—it didn't fit you. I said, "Breathe in, don't cough," but then you breathed out, and the buttons popped off. That damn thing fell to pieces, gabardine in the breeze. And you stood there and wept, your pants around your knees. At exactly eleven, when we got into town, we arrived at the hall, but the curtain was down. I suggested some dinner, but no, no, you you wanted to walk. You had no appetite and no desire to. So we strolled for an hour, and the evening was sweet. And you bought me a flower from a man on the street. We kissed on the sidewalk. We laughed in the cold. Then we knew that our love was far from growing old. Happy anniversary! <laughs> Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! <laughs>